flames a lot of things. <laughs> That's for starters. I would say Streb is a intense expression of the soul. The way I would describe Streb is, it's like family. What is this place, Reggie? The best place ever. I come here when I'm like stressed out and I just want to get away from everything. This is where I would come. They do dramatic performances, something I've never seen before in my life. They do all types of stuff. You would think you you watching a movie or something. Like it's, a, it's like an action movie. Everything is action. Slam is a vestibule initially for the invention of extreme action and also the invention of hardware. Because without hardware or without instruments for action, you can't really get off the ground and actually enter space, actually enter a new temporal universe and uh, go faster, harder, higher, sooner. It's also a place where everybody is invited into it. The art is the epicenter of this building. So when we all walk in, we're walking in because of the art. The art is what employs everybody. The art is what stirs the mind of everyone. The art is what draws the children in. So the art is the epicenter. And from that art, um, we all find our place. If a person wandered in here, had no idea who we were, um, they would walk in and possibly see people hanging with silks or hoops or swinging on the flying trapeze and doing flips or getting caught or just swinging and doing knee hangs, watching the Streb Extreme Action Company uh, experiment with different pieces of equipment. There's a plexiglass wall over there that we hook up and um, make rigid and they, they'll see people slamming into it with enormous amounts of force or they'll see a kid's action class. They'll see these frolicky, beautiful children uh, doing a move, inventing some actions, flying. I am future company. I am <laughs> definitely going to be in the company. Uh, I love it here. I feel at home. I never want to leave. And um, the, the people here, the teachers that teach me, I'm in Kid Advanced, they are awesome. They are the most amazing people. They are understanding and they teach us really, really well. And I, I always feel like I can talk to them and it's awesome. It's the best. I learned about Streb at the job fair for SYAP's internship. I told my friend when I saw Slam, I was like, I'm gonna work there. I'm gonna work there for a long time, mark my words. And we still laugh about it to this day. <laughs> I walked in the first morning, we had, it was a whole group of us. We were just so amazed with the space in total and the energy around it. And then I started we're helping out with the trapeze that same exact day. I've gone through a long journey with the flying trapeze, starting from interning throughout the year and now I actually teach. I believe humans can fly. Um, and a big part of that was the, this beautiful epiphany I had many years ago, that if you're gonna fly and you're not an insect, you gotta land. Landing is, in a certain way, way more important than flying. Flying is beautiful and gorgeous, but our whammo, like, you know, 170 pound body just hitting flat, bluntly onto the ground, shakes a building. And it, it's just a profound activity to be willing to do that. You know, when we're bounded in action and in passion and in, you know, wild, crazy dreams, the community is reinforced. And I think it's stronger, our bonds are stronger. Um, I think, you know, we, we care so much about not just the person, but having them actualize their dreams. And I find that, you know, that we don't, we don't really have that um, often in, in the society. I think we're very, you know, into keeping order, you know, and, and making sure that kids know how to follow the rules. And so this is a breath of fresh air, you know, and it's a breath of fresh air for everyone because, you know, it's, it's contagious. The metric for success at SLAM, which got developed over the 15 years, um, is really the notion of the invention, 
inventing extreme action. What is a move no one's ever done before? What's a piece of hardware or an instrument of action that can get you to higher, higher places, altitudes? And I think that this place has also developed a technical laboratory for usually young men, but young women too, to figure out how to have theatrical skills, to be able to hang people, to be able to hang um, equipment to be able to move it. The most important value at SLAM is not just performances, but the performance, the safety of the, of the uh, performance people. A skill set that I've learned is uh, basically like carpentry and building, not only plywood and you know wood, but uh, truss and metal objects. I've learned that uh, when you do rigging and stuff, you have to make sure that it's uh, strong and sturdy and you have to use the proper equipment because if you use the incorrect equipment, then it could, you know, damage somebody. Coming to work at a dance company was kind of different, you know. I was, I was, I wasn't expecting what I, what I was um, presented with. It gave me a different perspective of just looking at dancers differently now, like just seeing what they go through, how they, you know, they gotta work every day to get to that, you know, that 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 perfection. You know, it, it's, I see them different now. What is what exists right here is something that should be replicated elsewhere because what it is is it allows different people to enter a room and drop everything that they came in there with. And I think in, in this room is the example for humanity. It's how humanity should be set up. We don't go in prejudging each other. We don't go in uh, taking each other down. We go in to uplift each other at all times. And that's something that once you leave out of these doors, you might not find until you re-enter. My big dream is to, to have a demonstration of a streb extreme action to hit the world. The same way that NASCAR did and monster trucks did and rodeos and um, westerns and rock and roll. I want that. I want that kind of action to be permeated into society and, you know, rip the stain of art off of us. Every single thing we do is public because guess what? The public pays for it on some level or another. I mean, yes, Lincoln Center is public, but it's not the same kind of public that we're manifesting here at SLAM. At SLAM, I wanted to know that anyone who walked by this garage door immediately just felt welcome to walk in. And how do you figure out how to construct that energy where the person gets curious and somehow, for some reason, they walk in?